good day I'm just arriving from the street it has been snowing it's very cold we have just one extra hour and I think I have enough energy to do this this time I would like to talk to you about the Mexican Day of the Dead if we go back 500 years ago we will find in the actual Mexico many cultures like the Aztec, Mayans and many others even when those cultures were not sharing any language or traditions they were sharing something important the cosmological view. For them, everything has a cycle. When your body stops working, you don't die. You're just transforming yourself. You're becoming something else. You're becoming part of the universe. If something stops working like your body, you have to change it. To change your skin. Like a snake. Because for the universe, everything has a balance. In this case, death exists to keep life. So death is not that bad when you're next to the gods, right? But then, the Spaniards arrived to America and they brought something new, a new religion. In the Roman Catholic religion, there are special days dedicated to the saints. But there are more than 365 saints. So they thought it would be nice to have one day for all other saints that don't have a special day for them. That's why they create the Day of All Saints, so you can celebrate to all other saints in this day. It is in November the 1st. In this same religion, there are two possibilities when you die. Either you go to heaven or to hell. But there's a third possibility. That if you are not good enough, you can go to the purgatory. And in the purgatory, you just wait your turn to go to heaven. So the church said, Okay, let's give one day to pray for those souls and help them to go to heaven. When should we pray for them? November the 2nd. And it is known as All Souls Day. In Mexico, the idea of having souls around us was completely normal. So the Mexicans had this new vision of how the universe works. So it became in something new. The Day of the Dead. It is thought that in November the 2nd, the souls of the people that we love and died are coming back to the earth to share with us just this single day a year. When the Mexicans adopted the Catholicism as a religion, they took the November the 2nd to pray for all the beloved dead. But then, they realized that November the 1st was also a day to pray. To pray for whom? For the saints. So who are really behaving like saints in the world? The kids. Because they are full of innocence. So November the 1st is used in Mexico to commemorate the children that unfortunately passed away. And in November the 2nd, Mexicans pray for the others. That's why we have two days for the Day of the Dead. November the 1st for the kids and November the 2nd for all others. But how is it possible the Mexicans celebrate? Well, Mexicans don't celebrate death. We are not celebrating that they died. We are celebrating that they are with us right now and we can share everything with them. You see, death is in another concept for Mexicans. It is not to be sad all the time. What do we do if we have the opportunity once a year to be with our relatives? Well, we're not gonna be sad. We're gonna celebrate because we have the chance to celebrate life. But what else can you find in these traditions? Well, first of all, there is a lot of respect. And if you go to Mexico, Everywhere in Mexico, you can see in the cemeteries how the people are paying tribute to their beloved, decorating their graves with lots of flowers. One in special, Sempasuchitl, also known in English as Marigold. This flower is everywhere in Mexico in these days, and it is used to decorate everything, since graves to offerings. Offerings, of course, the so-called altar. And in these altares, or offerings, we put the pictures of our beloved ones. And not only that, the favorite food, the favorite drinks, everything that they liked when they were with us. But there is also something really special in this offering. Skulls. But these skulls are made of sugar or chocolate or any other caramel if you want. And it is also a tradition that they put your name on the forehead. But don't get scared like Maximiliano de Habsburgo. It doesn't mean that we wish you were dead, of course not. It is just a tradition to remember that we all are going to die. But life is so sweet and so nice that we can eat it. The death is not something horrible in Mexico. Of course, it's something sad, but it's necessary. We accept it as it is. 
we all know that we are gonna die. So, we enjoy life. And we pay tribute to the people that passed away. I would like to tell you that there is also a special bread in Mexico in these days. Pan de muerto. No, it is not made of dead people. It is called like that just because it is in these days where it is sold. It is made in the whole country just during this week. It is rounded and with a big cross in the middle. You have to try it, because not only is sweet, it is really tasty. And I was talking about skulls, calaveras. Calaveritas are little poems that we used to write when we were kids. Everyone in school learned to write some calaveritas. But in these calaveritas, death is only one character more. It comes to life, it interacts with humans, and we can fool death, we can play with death, we can do whatever we want, because now it becomes a person. You can find these calaveritas in the offerings too, but what else can you find in the offerings? Well, lots of stuff. Not only food, drinks, uh, calaveritas, skulls, and cempasuchitl. There is also traditional to find papel picado. Papel picado is cut paper. We just cut shapes in this paper in different colors and tell different stories. In these days, instead of using normal images of people, we used skeletons. And if you didn't get scared with these calls, then well done, because there will be a lot in Mexico. It is also really common to represent people, even living people, with skeletons. The most famous skeleton is La Catrina. Catrina, or Catrin, is a word that in Spanish-speaking countries is used to name the rich people. And you can see the Catrina everywhere in Mexico in these days. How can you recognize the Catrina? Well, because La Catrina uses a big fancy hat. Well, fancy for the beginning of the 20th century. And as everything is a mix of tradition and cultures, also there is a new religion, which is the religion of the Saint Death. And it is based in the Roman Catholic religion, but in this case they took the imaginary of the death and transforming it into something saint. And in the end, they only pay tribute to death in a different way. They still believe in saints and God and Jesus Christ, but they just put death there as the most powerful saint. Before I forget, some books to read about it? Well, there is a novel, or short novel, Pedro Paramo. That's the story of a guy that arrives to a town and suddenly he realizes that the people there are quite of special. Another second book that I highly recommend is El Laberinto de la Soledad. It is my favorite book, and in the third chapter it talks about death, and how the Mexicans see death. It is the most beautiful and complete writing about the Mexican society. I highly recommend to read the whole book. But I have to warn you, this book is really hard to read. It is the most beautiful and complete analysis about the Mexican culture, but it's hard. And in movies, there is a movie called El Rio y la Muerte. It tells the story of a town that has an special feeling regards death. La Otra Conquista is a film about the fight between the ancient traditions of the Mesoamerican cultures and the new traditions of the Spaniards. You will find it interesting and you will see how this mix of traditions was done in Mexico. And finally, Macario. The story is not Mexican, but the Mexicans made a really good adaptation of it. Here you can see the story of a poor Mexican who has an strange friendship with death. Well, there is a lot to tell about this, but I hope that this basic information is really useful for you. Please, have doubts, go to the internet, look for it, and you will see how beautiful and amazing this tradition is. You will find some links here if you want to read a little bit more about this tradition. And before I forget, thank you for all your feedback, it was really nice, and I am taking notes of it, of course. Uh, before I go, let me tell you that every time that I talk about Mexicans, I'm not referring that all Mexicans are the same. Uh, that's not my meaning, it's not true. It's not a general way to think of all of us, just for you to know, okay? So, if you want to leave your comments, your questions, your suggestions, requests, everything, and if you're a Mexican and you know that something's missing, you please write it down here. I know I missed a lot of stuff, but uh, please help me to share this with the world, okay? Well, thank you very much. That was all for today. I hope to see you next time. No, I hope you to see me next time. Peace to the dead and Feliz Dia de Muertos.